we're in April, quite alright, it's not 1st of April, but I'm like, you know what, let's do something nice that you could also prank someone with. And what we're going to do here is just a basic spam bot. This is going to be a real quick and easy tutorial, nothing too complicated. And yeah, we're using Python for this. The first thing we do in this tutorial is that we open our notepad and yeah, we type the spam message that we want to appear. At the beginning, I'm going to spam like the whole of Star Wars, but just to start with, I'm just going to put like, what is the time? And then the second one will be like, did you not see my message? What is the, and then we'll put some stars there, time. And then I need to know the time right now. So yeah, you can add way more than this, but yeah, this is going to be our spam message. And yep, the next thing we do is we need to save it. So I click file, just click save as, and I'm just going to put spam message. And I'll put .txt just to be really, really, it, it's already going to save it as this type, but I'm just going to put that too. And we save it. Now, you need to open PyCharm. Now, PyCharm, what you need to do is actually create a new project. So you just click on new project. And the name of our project is going to be Spam Tutorial. Now we save that on this window. And now we need to create our Python file. So you just right click on your project, you click on new, and then Python file. And we're going to call this spam bots. And now we have our Python file and our notepad file. What we're going to do now is we're going to put it inside this folder. Now what you need to do is you right click on your Python file that we just created. Ours is spam bot. And when you right click on it, you can see this place show in Explorer. We click on that and now we have it on our Explorer. So what we just need to do now is we take the spam message and we put it right there. We drag it and drop it there. And that's all for that. Now we go back to our PyCharm. And now you can see the spam message.txt. It's in there. Now we have all our files where they should be. And now it's time to write some Python code. And then I'm just going to put a comment. It's, it's time to spam. So what we'll do next is we'll import relevant modules because we need some modules for this. I don't think I even spelled relevant, right? But this is a prank, so yeah. Relevant, yeah, relevant modules. We import relevant modules. And the first one we're going to import is time. Now the second module we're going to import is the pi auto GUI and we just say import pi auto GUI and that's that and you can see that it's showing red right here and when you click on it you see this right here so you just need to click on it if you're using PyCharm that is and now you just need to click on install package pi auto GUI and you click on that too and you can see down below here it's installing. So while it's installing, let's write some more code. And what we're going to do is we'll say we'll create a function and this is going to send the message. So we'll call it send spam bot. So that's our function right here. It's called send spam bot. And now we can see that it's been installed successfully. We're going to have to create a time for it to sleep before it actually starts. So we say sleep, and that's why we imported the time module for five seconds before it starts. After that, we're going to say text is equal to open. And inside we'll say we should open this file called spam message.tx. You can see that it also gave us that. And how it's going to read is we're going to create a for loop. So we'll say for each 
line in text. What we want to happen is we want pi GUI dot type right and then we say each line. After that, what we want it to do also is we want it to press enter. So what we want it to do is we want it to copy what is inside this file right here and we want it to write it. And then when it writes it, we want it to press enter. So we need to say press. And what do we want it to press? We want it to press enter. And you have that's it. Real nice and simple. Now we just call the function send bot and we save it. And now what I'm going to do is let's test this bad boy. Oh, that, <laughs> you know what? Let's test this bad bot. And what we're going to do is before we run it, I need to create a space where it's going to first write whatever it wants to write. So I'm just going to open the notepad again. And this is where I want it to show up. So first thing I'm going to click run and then we have five seconds to actually put where we want it to show up. So that's it right here. And now you can see everything is working. You can see it says, what's the time? Did you not see my message? What is the effing time? I need to know the time right now. You see, like a really disturbing and annoying person. So yeah, we can see this is working well. And all you need to do, wherever you want this to be sent to, you go there. So if you want it to be sent to like someone on WhatsApp, you open your WhatsApp and you, if you have your WhatsApp on your desktop, you open it and you actually just do like you want to write and wait for it to start writing. If you want it as a text message, you do all that. So this could happen anywhere. This is so crazy, it could happen on our Python file. So let me show you. I type it again, and then I put it right here. And you see, it actually spammed our Python file. So it's going to happen anywhere on your computer. That's how powerful it is. And yep, that's it for this. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Make sure you test it out, annoy someone, prank someone. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the vid, and you know what, I'm going to wrap things up, and I'll keep things moving, and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.